this is 7 National News and in our top story. The UA Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, congratulated the mother of the Emirates, Her Highness Sheikha Fatima bint Mubarak, on receiving the International Olympic Committee President's Trophy for outstanding merit in the development of the sport. Announcing the trophy winner, IOC President Dr Jacques Roche noted Sheikha Fatima's dedication to the advancement of women in sport. Sheikh Mohammed considered the honour a true international recognition of Sheikha Fatima's efforts for the advancement of women in various fields. From her post as the chairperson of the General Women's Union, chairwoman of the Family Development Foundation and president of the Supreme Council for Motherhood and Childhood. The ruler of Dubai called on Emirati women to learn from the dedication of the mother from the mother of the Emirates and her unrelenting efforts to serve women. A two million dirham project has been launched by the Dubai municipality to give every home and building in the city its own geographical coordinates. The municipality aims to divide each commercial and residential area by longitude and latitude coordinates as a part of a comprehensive navigation system to be up and running by April the 2013. Plates will be affixed to homes and buildings across Dubai bearing the coordinates of each location. The plates will also carry a barcode which can be scanned to give the coordinates. Residents can then enter the data onto a Dubai municipality website to give their exact location on a map. They will also be able to feed the figures into Garmin software, either smartphone applications or satellite navigation systems to pinpoint their exact location. Dubai Municipality aims to ensure residents no longer have to use landmarks when giving directions. The first ever UA-focused study detailing patterns and trends of YouTube users was released by Google today. The study showed that YouTube is the most preferred online video site to search for product information in the UAE over other search engines by 82% of respondents. Additionally, research revealed that users interact positively with advertisements, whereby 62% of users stated that they clicked on the ad to go to the adver advertiser's website for more information. 46% of the respondents use YouTube on a daily basis, and 77% of them are considered heavy users, meaning that they use YouTube several times a day, once a day or several times a week. More than 70% of the respondents also have a very positive opinion about it. In general, 90% of the respondents either agree or strongly agree that YouTube is entertaining and global. Company officials stated that by understanding how users in the UA interact with the YouTube platform, both content creators and advertisers will be able to develop more relevant content and brand building campaigns. People go online to find out um, information about products they're interested in. Um, this study um, confirms that um, not only is that the case, but YouTube is actually one of the most preferred ways to find out information um, about something that you're looking to buy. So um, just, uh, just under 50% um, um, of the people we asked um, in the study confirmed that they've actually clicked on an ad uh, to get to a manufacturer or a seller's website to find out more about what they're selling. Um, and, that's, and that's really good for advertisers, and it means that there's a significant potential for, uh, for information. The retail industry continues to grow from strength to strength in the region. From technology to fashion, food and beverage, the industry sectors thrive and respond to an increasing and ever-changing market of consumers. On Wednesday night, Retail Middle East Awards 2012 recognised the top performing retailers and the best industry practices across the region. According to organisers, they aim to inspire the industry players to think big and innovate on ways to further benefit consumers. The recognition given to companies in honour of their efforts has been a driving force in ensuring that concepts, products and services remain fresh, up to standard and competitive with the best in the world. More than 100 companies battled it out for 19 categories, including most admired Middle East Retailer of the Year, won by the Landmark Group, and most admired Retail Launch of the Year, which went to Tim Horton's Cafe and Bake Shop. We've seen a tremendous growth in the awards 
process and the whole nomination process in the last one year. Almost 100% growth. We have almost more than 150 nominations from across the region and we see this growing every year because I think the awards has been recognized very well and it has inspired a lot many more retailers to really get those awards. And finally, famed Hollywood actress Gwyneth Paltrow is in Dubai and made an appearance at the Paris Gallery at Dubai Mall on Wednesday evening. To the delight of hundreds of fans who flocked to the mall to get a glimpse of the Academy Award-winning actress, Paltrow promoted Boss Nui, the new woman's fragrance from Hugo Boss. The Iron Man star told the crowd how much she loved Dubai and spent 30 minutes signing autographs for invited guests at the Paris Gallery. I'm, I'm very happy to be here for the first time. Uh, I find so far Dubai to be incredibly vibrant and a very beautiful place. And my, I've just been amazed by the incredible style of the women and how everybody's so well put together and very beautiful from head to toe. And up next we will have the day's business news, so stay with us.